Das Guru Ar Das Mai, Ram Das Guru Ram Das Guru Ram Das Guru Sachi Sai. Ad Guru Enam Ei, Jagad Guru Enam Ei, Sat Guru Enam Ei, Siri Guru Dev Enam Ei. Ad Guru Enam Ei, Jagad Guru Enam Ei, Sat Guru Enam Ei, Siri Guru Dev Enam Ei. Ad Guru Enam Ei, Jagad Guru Enam Ei, Sat Guru Enam Ei, Siri Guru Dev Enam Ei. Satsangat Ji Wahe Guru Ji Ka Kalsa. Wahi Guruji ki Fateh. Well, as always, with a great privilege and a great honor, in the presence of our city Guru Granth Sahib, to be with you today, to see your smiling faces and your radiance. You know, I've always talked to you and told you how special you are, how you've been born into a beautiful way of life, a beautiful way of living, not just for ourselves, that's part of it, but to be represented to the whole world. You know, I talk to you a lot about spirit, about strength and about courage that we have to have in this life. And some of you are very young, but that spirit is there, that courage is there. And that's what our history has taught. That we are a nation. Khalsa is not just people. Khalsa is not just one place. But Khalsa is a spiritual nation unto itself. Now maybe younger don't understand what I'm saying too much by when I say spiritual nation. We know that Canada is a nation, yes, right? We're Canadians, many of us here. But also we're part of a, our own nation. And that is called the nation of Khalsa. Because Guru Gobind Singh Ji created Khalsa so that we would be those in the world that people would come to recognize that we are people that will bring help and we are people that will bring hope in a time when they feel there's no hope. And that is the message that our gurus have given to us by their own sacrifice. Guru Arjan Dev Ji gave his life so that we could be here today and be strong in our spirit. Because Guru Arjan Dev Ji taught that no matter what, God is stronger than a human. That the word of God cannot be altered or changed. When Guru Arjun Dev Ji had the Adi Grant and they came to him, they said, no, you have to change this. You have to change the words. We don't want this reference. You have to make that change. He said, I won't make any change. Because I didn't write it. It came through God. I was only the pen. I was only the one who wrote it. So how could I change it? Well, if you don't change it, then we will kill you. So kill me. What does it mean? What is life? Word of God is word of God. And he stood to that truth. And others said, well, we should give our lives. You're the guru. He said, guru has to show the example. And he made that example so that we would see that the spirit and the truth is stronger than any threat against our lives. So this is big to understand. that the commitment that we make as Khalsa is that we're not afraid to give our life for truth. But each and every one of us, even the young ones, have to look at what is my truth? And can we live to that living truth? Or does it just become a story of time? 
And that's a decision that we make in our Sangha. That's a decision we make individually in any realm of life. Because ultimately, we have to live what is in our true heart. Guru teaches us to live in our true heart. Not just in this mind of ours. That is what makes the difference between Manmukh and Gurmukh. You know those words? If we get stuck into our mind, and mind is going to tell us everything, and we don't feel what is in our heart to live our truth, then we make mistakes in life. And if we don't live our truth, what we know inside of our heart, then we become very unhappy. And Guru's teachings and Gurbani and Pat, when you read the Bani, when you sit in the stillness of Vaheguru, 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 and sit in that stillness, then the heart opens. Because we can take this head of ours and we can bring it to our heart, but we can't bring our heart to our head. <laughs> and this is a time of history. Guru talks about Kali Yuga. You know that word? Dark age, dark time. Now what is a dark time? It's a time when everything in life is going to change. We hear about 2012 and changing of this and that, what is going to be. But what it means is that there's a pressure on each of us, even the young ones, to live our truth. And Guru Nanak Dev Ji brought to this planet, brought to this earth and to this world as we know it, the fastest and easiest and most exact way and method to reach that inner truth. Do you know what that is? That is Namjapo. That is the meditation. so that the mind of ours can become still. Someone asked me, do you teach meditation? I said, no. They said, you don't teach meditation? I said, no. They said, what do you teach? I said, I teach how to have a meditative mind. Because when this mind of ours is meditative, when this mind of ours repeats that Nam Simran, Vaheguru, 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 24-7, we hear that inside of ourselves, it creates a peace. It creates an openness, an awareness, and it creates intelligence. Some of you come to me and sometimes say, well, how will this help me study in class? How will this help my work? How will this help me think better and more clear? And the simple thing to do is, even if you're studying for an exam or a test, is to stop for a minute and sit still and close your eyes and go, Vahe Guru, 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 and do that for one or two minutes only. And then open your eyes and then open your books and you'll see a difference. Your mind will be more alert and you won't worry. Someone asked me, what is the power of Waheguru? I said, when you go to school, if you start your day, Waheguru, 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 and you go to school, the teacher will say, okay, I have a question, and you'll give the answer before she asks the question. Because you already know. <laughs> Vaigudu told me. 
But what I'm saying to you is that your spirit, if it's strong, the Vaheguru gives a strong spirit. I look on your parents' faces, they're more confused than you are. <laughs> they're saying, what? What's he talking? <laughs> Because the whole energy, the whole basis of what we learn when we walk this path of Sikh Dharam, we learn how we cannot be defeated by time and space. That's all we learn. Are we sitting straight alert? Sit straight. Let me repeat that so you understand it. We learn how to keep our spirit strong. And when our spirit is strong, what can defeat us? That is what we learn from Saib Zadis. Is that not correct? That's what we learn from those in our history who have given their lives. That the spirit, when it's strong, the spirit is stronger than your physical body. But now we also have to ask ourselves the question, can we live within ourselves that spirit? Can we hold within ourselves that strength and that courage? We say, what is Kazo's courage, strength, kindness, compassion, love, giving? We mouth those words, but do we live that courage? Do we live that strength within ourselves? Do we trust in Guru's words? That is the question we ask ourselves today. That is the question for tomorrow. Because as this Kali Yuga, as this dark age becomes heavier in time, we rise. We'll rise as a Khalsa nation to show the world Because it's time that we come out of the box of just being within ourselves. And it's time that we share with the world the power of Khalsa, the power of Shabbat Guru. But we have to give you that strength and courage in yourself. And you have to feel that strength and courage in you and be successful in your school life and be successful in your spiritual life and be successful as a human being. And that is our role as parents, as teachers, as guides to these young ones. If we don't live it, they won't live it. If we don't teach them how to live it, they won't live it. I started just like them. I knew nothing. I came into this, I knew nothing. I wasn't born to it. I came like the most youngest, most innocent one here. But I learned very quickly that Guru was teaching me that strength of spirit and strength of commitment and most importantly, my strength of practice. That means my daily sadhana, my daily practice of nitnam my daily practice of Nam Simran. And it's a daily practice that Guruji has given to us so that that spirit stays strong. And then you'll never be depressed. When I talk to many of you as parents and I see that you're depressed and so many are on depression medications, that it takes away the spirit in the life. And I wonder and I ask myself that question. We have such a beautiful technology of shifting of self in the teachings of our Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib that every teaching is there to get us clear, to get us out of depression, to keep us high and to keep us alert and to keep us enlightened. And yet why do we fall out of that? And I ask that question. And the answer came because we don't trust. We don't have complete and full trust 
We say we trust in God. We say we trust in Guru. But we don't live that trust. And that's why we become depressed. That's why our children leave. That's why we don't give them the future. Because it's not just enough to grade our children on how what their mark is in school. Did they get A? Did they get A plus? Did they get A plus plus? We want to grade our children. But did we grade them on their spiritual guidance? Did we grade them on their future tomorrow? Did we grade them on teaching them the truths that are in Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib? Did we grade them on their relationship to Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib? Because that is their future. We don't know what shape this world will take in the next 10 years. We don't. But we do know that we have the living strength of Guru. So Satsangaji, let us live that strength. Let us teach our children how to live that strength. Let us learn within ourselves how to live that strength. Not to live in doubt, not to live in fears, not to live in insecurity. If we as parents, as teachers, as guides, as mentors are insecure, then they become insecure, they become uncertain. So we have to live the strength and the courage of Khalsa. We have to learn how to keep up and keep strong and keep steady. And that is through our daily practice. That is learning how to develop the meditative mind. It's learning how to have the attitude of gratitude, being grateful for everything in life. When we do the matta take, do we just think, I'll do the matta take, I'll go have my prashad, say yak yak to my friends, go downstairs, have my langar, and that's my experience of Gudwara? Or when we do that matta take, do we say, Guruji, you take me. I'm yours. Do you think in that in your mind, Guruji, you take me. My forehead, my brow is coming in this matta take. My brow is coming before you. Take me. I'm yours. Guide me. Keep me on this true path so that I can experience your greatness and I can experience the greatness that lives inside of me. And where does it start? Satnam. Sa ta na ma. You know that? Sa ta na ma. Five sounds. Sa ta, the S, the T, the N, the M, and an A. Five sounds. Sa means beginning, birth. Ta means the life. Na means the birth, the, the giving, the death, the giving up. And ma, mother, is the rebirth. So the cycle of your entire life is in satnam, satanama. So come sit straight, let's do this together. We have five fingers, right? And if you take this thumb, thumb, they say, represents your ego, your mind. Sa, ta, na, ma. And we touch each of our fingertips. You know, fingertips and the tip of the fingers have what we call them a relay that go into the brain. So let's do this together. This is called Kirtan Kriya. Sa, ta, na, ma. You see how I touch? Thumb to first finger, sa. Second finger, ta, na, ma. And we go like this. So put your hands on your knees. Start like this. And watch how I do. Sata nama. Sata nama. Can we do that together? So I'm touching my fingers. Sata nama. Sata nama. Did you get it? You got it? Sit straight. And the children too? <laughs> Come, sit straight, hands on the knees. Come on with me. You can close your eyes. We're in the presence of Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib. We're respectful. Let us do this kirtan together. Ready? Inhale. Satanama 
Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama. Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama. Sata Nama, Sata Na. Now whisper. Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata. Na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa. Hear the sound inside of you. Ma sa ta na ma sa na. In a whisper. Sa ta na ma sa ta. Na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta. Now go silently inside and hear it silently inside of you. Keep touching your fingertips and just hear it inside. Hear the shabbat inside. Sa ta na. Ma, hear it inside of you. Now begin in a whisper again. Sa ta na ma 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 sa Na ma sa ta 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 and now in a normal voice. Sata Nama, 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 Sata Nama. Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, 
Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama. Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama. Inhale. Now with me, Sata Nama. Wahe Guru. Inhale. Sat Nam Wahe Guru. Sat Nam Wahe Guru. Hear the sound inside. Sat Nam Wahe Guru. Again. Sat Nam Wahe Guru. Sat Nam Wahe Guru. And inhale deep. And close your eyes down, sit very still, hear this sound inside of you, and let your breath go. And just take a moment, be very still. And this is the power of Nam Simran, to create that stillness. And you can feel that stillness in yourself, can you? And when you have that stillness, simply we did this not more than five minutes using the simple sound vibration of Satnam Vaheguru. So what depression can come even close to you? Do you feel inside your calmness? Do you feel that's a hedge, that peace? Guru teaches us we should become Shunya. Shunya means zero. And that is the power of Nam Japo. Did you like it? Did you feel it? You can't say. <laughs> so Satsangaji, this is the spirit of Khalsa. When we can find that inner peace, we find that inner strength. You will never have that inner strength if you don't find your inner peace. And it is through the meditation, Vaheguru, Vaheguru, it is through the Nam Simran, that we find that inner peace, and that inner peace will always bring us inner strength, and inner strength will always bring us Jardikala, rising spirit. And that rising spirit we call Ang Sang Vaheguru. God within me is God everywhere. And that's how we live at this life. And that is the power that Guru has gifted us with. I learned it. Can you not learn it better than me? So let us live in that spirit, in that light. It is my prayer that we as a Sangat find that inner peace and inner strength. And trust in the teachings and the words of our Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib. You become that Bani, that Shabbat within yourself. And peace will come not just to ourselves, not just to our Sangat, but we will help bring peace onto this planet. And that's why I want our future generations, our young people, our young children to understand the strength and the power of what they've been born to 
and not be afraid to live it. How do we always end when I'm here? We are the? The mighty, mighty Kalsa. Everywhere we go, oh, people want to know who we are. So we tell them, we are the? Not we are the Kalsa. We are the? 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 Wahiguru Ji Ka Kalsa! Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh!